In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a VS Code trick to quickly identify different VS Code windows by adding a splash of color to the title bar, sidebar, and status bar to different VS Code projects. This is extremely useful in working on multiple projects at a time in VS Code. Seeing these colors is also really helpful when you're working in full screen. Flipping between projects, you can see the different colors to help you identify which project you're working on. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Here's the scenario that we have. We have three projects, a back-end project, a front-end project, and a reporting project, and they all look the same. To fix this, we're going to go ahead and add color so we can easily identify each window. Let's start with the backend project. In order to change the color settings, let's have a better understanding of how settings work in VS Code. There are two types of settings in VS Code. There's user settings, as we can see over here, and user settings affect every single window. So if you we were to change the color of the status bar to green, it would be green in every single VS Code window. However, if we change workspace settings, it's only going to affect the current project. Now, the color settings that we want to change are not available in this settings GUI over here, but VS Code is highly configurable and you can still configure those options through a JSON file. In the root of our project over here, we're going to go ahead and create a folder and we're going to name it .vs code. Inside that folder, we're going to go ahead and create a file called settings.json. Inside our settings file, we're just going to put some curly brackets. And inside of that, we're going to start typing workbench and we're going to look for color customizations. Once we find that, we'll just add another set of curly braces for another JavaScript literal object. And then inside there, we'll just put quotes. And now we're going to do is we're going to change the side of our left hand bar over here known as an activity bar. So as you start to type activity bar, it's going to do auto complete and we can pick a background. It's automatically going to go to red. So if we save that, we'll see the color change. If you want to pick a different color, you can go ahead and put your mouse over the color here. From the color picker, you can go ahead and pick a different color. You can move this little circle around. You can also go ahead and change the color by using the slider on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a yellowish orange color and you can drag the little circle around to find the perfect color that we want. Once we're happy with it, click away, click save, and you have your brand new color. We can also customize the foreground color. If we go activity bar and we look for foreground, we can change that to the color black by using the color picker. Or if you know the color code, you can put the color code in. In addition to the background and foreground colors that you can customize, there is much more customization that you can do. For example, if we just start typing activity bar, you'll see that there's all these different options. Let's check out the active background. The active background over here says to red by default. Let's change that color for a second to something like green. That'll look kind of neat. And then every time we click on a different item over here, you're going to see that the active background is going to be the color that we selected over here, which is green. Next, let's go ahead and update the color of our status bar, which is another way to identify our different windows. So we can do our status bar dot background and off the bat it goes to red, but let's go ahead and just set that to black. We go to the very corner there, set that to all zeros and save. Then let's set our foreground color. I mean, it already looks kind of cool right now with black and white text, but let's go ahead and set our foreground color. And for the foreground color, we're going to kind of use a neon green color and save that. And yep, that looks really cool and really identifiable compared to the other windows that we have. Lastly, let's go ahead and customize our title bar. When I'm on a Mac in full screen, you can see that I don't see the title bar. In order to see the title bar, I'm going to minimize and you can see our title bar over here. However, with the customizations that we've already done, it's already quite easy to distinguish between the different windows. Customizing our title bar is much like the other sections. So let's go ahead and get our title bar. Now what we're looking for is our 
active background color and active foreground color. For the active background color, you can see it as soon as we click save, it's going to change colors. Let's go ahead and use the same yellow color that we used before. So we can just paste that in. And then we're going to add our foreground color like we did before. So we'll do title bar dot active foreground. And we'll just use the color black for that. So we can put triple zeros. Now that we've set up one project, it's really easy to set up the other projects. All you have to do is copy the contents of your settings.json. And then once you've copied that, go to your other project that you want to change the colors in. Create a folder called .vs code. Remember spelling counts for all these things. So if something's not working, most likely something's spelt wrong. Create a settings.json file paste that in. If you see the colors change, you know it's working. Then you can start to go ahead and modify the colors. So for this project, let's say that we just made it orange like that and click save. You can see already our activity bar is a different color. And then you can go around changing as many colors as you like. So for this one over here, since I made our sidebar that color, might as well also change our top bar over here. And then we can minimize this. And right off the bat, these two projects already look different. Different. Now we've changed a lot of colors. You don't have to change them all. Sometimes I just change one thing like the activity bar on the side to distinguish between different projects. Also remember if you're working in a team and you have your settings.json file committed into your repository, make sure not to commit your changes. Otherwise your teammates may wind up with your color scheme the next time they pull down the project. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.